fishing. Hi everyone, it's Andy here. I'm on a little, uh, I guess it's a, an ocean flat, like a bit of a coral flat, but there's not a lot of coral. And we're going to go hunt some octopus. I've never done this before. I've got my, my spear with me. And I've got a couple of other little little doodads. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can find. If that doesn't work, we'll, um, we'll see if we can spear a fish or a stingray or something like that. Um, I really want to have some, some food very shortly. So, um, oh, hello. I'm not even set up and there's two stingrays right here. Okay. There they go. Three stingrays. Oh, you guys might be on the menu later. So my um, my goal is to, to walk a little bit further down here. And I've seen holes which I think are octopus holes. I've never chased octopus before. But um, I'm, I'm, I love a challenge, so I'm going to give it a go. And uh, we've got the spears back up. So Ooh, it's going to be a fun episode. Got to check this little crab out. He is such a cool dude. Uh, I almost didn't see him. It's, it's only when they move that you see them. Look at this. Look at that guy. Let's see if I can grab him for you. Just so cool. They're, they're so greatly camouflaged. Look at that. Okay, here we go. And their biggest offence is just to sit there and look like a piece of piece of weed. Oh, off you go buddy. Hey, he's good. Hey, look at that. That is so cool. Oh, this is interesting. There's one hole here and one hole here. A shrimp of some sort living in that hole. Um, let's see if we can find something bigger. Oh, hello, this looks interesting. Ah, uh, yes. I can stick my hand in there. Ooh, yep, okay, that goes down a little bit. Let's um, dig that out. That I'm thinking this is an octopus. I'll have a look at this. That's a fresh shell. That's a fresh shell. That one's a little bit older. Let's settle in here and dig that out. So let's... Um, See which way it goes. So what I'm going to do is try and dig down, hopefully without collapsing it. I have to put my hand there. So start digging down. Maybe he's even pulled pulled some in to. Ah! <laughs> Did I scare you? I just pretended that wasn't actually real. I'm just pulling out coral rocks. Whatever, whatever the ground's made up of here. And look at that. He's um, he's eating a little crab. There's uh, another one of those. There's a that's a really quite a fresh one. Yeah, that's way in there. Look at that. That's that's as far as I've got. And it's another, you know, 25 centimeters further in. So we need to go deeper. Make his hole quite a bit wider now. There's his his actual hole is where this is coming out. So now I've gone as far in as I can, and I can't reach him. I've actually put this thing here into the hole, and look at that. I've gone all the way in, and as far as like it actually goes further than that somewhere. The problem is this here is really just one big lump of coral. So I might have to let this guy win this trip, this um, this fight. He's, um, I think he's pretty safe in there. So I'll try and remember where that hole is, and then come back another day, because um, I'm not being outdone by a, a cephalopod. That's the um, yeah, the scientific name for an octopus. Let's see if we can find another hole. Whoop, this looks like one. That definitely looks like something. But 
at that. That is a very fresh kill. That was his probably dinner yesterday or the day before. Yeah, so there's definitely one in there. But let's let's try and dig this hole out. I know which way this one's going. It's going that direction there. So this is now the second hole. Oh, and I think this is not the way to hunt octopus. Look at that. That's definitely a kill he's made. The thing I don't want to do is you know, wreck their homes if I don't eat them and then they die under the ground so I'm making sure I'm keeping the hole open as I dig so that they can get out whenever they want. I may have to come up with a new strategy. Okay, I don't think digging out an octopus is the way to go. You know, that's um, yeah, getting right down in there. That is like my elbow is there. Oh! <laughs> I think he just tried to grab me. <laughs> oh, I just, where is he? Just gave me a fright because I was talking to you guys. He's down there somewhere. He's like, oh, it's over two foot down. It's almost straight down there. What I think he's doing is actually digging down while I'm trying to dig him out. And, um, if he's moving further down, I'm not going to get him. But look at that, I'm down to my elbow and I just can't get him. Well, the octopus won that round. Um, some people might call that a failure, but I actually call it a win. Because this is the first time I've tried to dig one out that there's actually been one in the hole. When I put the stick in, I put this all the way down the hole and he grabbed it like three or four times, but each time I tried to pull him out with it, which yeah, it was, it was probably a bad idea. He went further down the hole. I think we might have missed our window. I'm gonna set up the spear. We'll keep looking for octopus. And you guys will notice I'm not carrying a fishing rod. It's, um, yeah, spear and, and pokey things only. So I'll just set the spear up. Um, a lot of you guys probably don't know this, but in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, almost anywhere except for Northern Territory, it's illegal to spear, spearfish, harpoon, whatever you want to call it, in fresh water. These shallow coral reef flats really are home to a lot of animals. Oh, there's a little baby black tip shark just took off. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there's um, this intertidal zone is uh, where all the life happens. If you go too far up, there's um, just dry land. And I'm yeah looking for, oh, there goes a little flathead. I'm looking for, I don't know, let's see. Oh, hello. Let's see if you're big enough. There's a blue swimmer crab here. I think he looks a little bit small. Let's um, let's catch this guy. He's only got one one nipper. He's very aggressive. He is very aggressive. This could be my lunch. I don't want to spear him. I just want to. Ooh, they fast. They are fast. Oh, he's gonna beat me. He is gonna beat me. He settled, that's it, he's settled down, okay. I'll get a shot at him here. I've got him half pinned, nope, he's out. Oh, the water's gonna go dirty. Yeah, I should have, well, I, I didn't want to spare him, I didn't know if he's undersized or not. So, there goes Mr. B Blue Swimmer Crab. So if you guys want to do this, it's, um, it's all well and good, just know what Animals can bite you, sting you, whatever. Don't pick anything up, you don't know what it is. And um, yeah, don't step on live corals. I'm making very sure that I'm standing on mud, sand, or dead coral. Um, definitely don't stand on live coral, because you'll just kill it. Okay, here we've got a lagoon ray. They've actually got a like a semi-poisonous tail spine, so I don't want to get one of these. See him there? There he is, he's just taken off.
what is that? That is a monster crayfish. Oh, and he's actually been, he's been dead for a while, his carapace just came off. I'm going to um, show this guy to you, look at the size of this thing. That is huge. Oh, look at that. That is a monster. That is an amazing critter. He's been dead for a while, there's, um, there's no meat left inside that, it's all, all hollow. Look at the legs on him. Wow. Even though that there. If we go from there to there, yeah, he's still half a metre long. What a cruel, cool critter. Wow. It's a shame we didn't get this guy while he was still alive. Oh, there's a stingray. That's the one I want. He's kind of smallish. I've never used one of these spears out of the water before, so. Oh, I missed him. I totally missed him. And he's just freaked out. Oh, let's see if we can get him. Got him. Oh, missed him. How did I miss that? I thought that was right on him. Got him. All right. Oh, he's trying to get away. Get him up to the surface. There we go. We have lunch. Oh, <laughs> hey Mr. Stingray, yeah, a little bit high on the first shot, beautiful, beautiful, I'll show you guys how to um, prepare one of these, actually I'll show you how to deal with them so they don't spike you. Great Stingray for lunch, oh how nice is that, uh, just got to watch out for their spines, that, that, um, the barb on their tail. So just while I'm walking over to where I'm going to have a little fire, I'll tell you the rules at the moment in Queensland for sharks and rays. It's one per person per day, and it's a maximum of 1.5 metres. So no sharks over 1.5 and no rays over 1.5. But um, yeah, this, this looks like a good spot up here. The first thing we want to do is disarm this guy. That's, um, that's his major, that's his only weapon really. So I'm just going to hold his tail hopefully nice and tight and these things here are actually designed to come out once they bang them into something into like your foot or a fish's mouth or something like that and he's going to struggle they're designed to, to break off there you go it's come off now I'll show you one I've got at home dried but yeah, it's hard, it's hard to see. I'll, sh I'll show you the one at home that I've got dried. So, they jab that into you, and then it actually is designed to dislodge like that. So, and they're actually serrated, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll show you that. And what we're going to do first is, we'll actually kill him. So, that's his mouth, that's his gills, so his heart should be here. We'll just, um, that's got him. Yep, there we go. It should bleed him out. Usually does a good job if you go straight down the middle of him and then we'll just turn him over and he'll bleed out. Before we do the stingray we'll just start a fire and the easiest way to start a fire around here is to use pandanus. This is the pandanus tree and its leaves they're a bit spiky you can see the serrated edges there. Um, it's the probably the easiest fire starting material I've found on the on the shore, so yeah, we'll use that. Like always, we're we'll below the, the high water mark here. And we'll just make ourselves a nice little hole. There we go, that should be plenty. And this will go up like a rocket. So while we prepare the stingray, we're gonna fill it in. Um, the fire will burn down and we'll have a nice little bed of coals to cook on. I'll find out what, um, what actual species this is. I'm uh, not 100% sure at this stage. We'll give him, a, give him a little wash and then fill it in. Alright, let's start. They've got two big flaps. These, um, these two big muscle flaps is what they swim with. And um, that's all the meat that we want is right there. 
but yeah, just run that knife along that, that membrane there. And you can tell he hasn't been dead long because when I um, move the knife, sometimes his, his muscles, there you go, muscles twitch. And that's, he's, he's been dead for a while. I don't take cutting boards all the time and it makes it very hard sometimes. Stingray has to be one of the hardest things to, to fill it cleanly. That's working pretty good now actually. That's better. So that looks like meat, but it's actually a very hard membrane. And um, yeah, you can't go too far down here, so you don't get a lot of meat off a little stingray. Okay, there's my makeshift filling board, or rock. Fire's, um, yeah, burnt down nicely. There's a nice heat of coals there. And this is one of the hooks I made up to, to try and get the octopus, which obviously didn't work, but um, just use, a, use the hook to cook the stingray. Now, everybody says that stingray tastes like scallops. And I think a lot of those people haven't actually eaten stingray. It's, um, it's definitely not a scallop taste. I, um, I haven't eaten it for a while. So I'll just um, I'll have to give you my, my impressions again. I think the reason people say it's it's like scallop, it's actually got like a bit of a grainy, like long long muscles. And um, it's definitely got a, a scallopy texture, but um, I've never thought of it as a, a scallopy taste. So to speed this up a little bit, I've just put a rock right in the fire, and I'm just going to use the rock as a like a plate, or a not necessarily as a saucepan because the rock's not hot. But um, just let the the surrounding heat cook that stingray and I think the one on my spear is almost ready to eat. It's um, getting close to, to sunset. I mean it's still a fair bit of light left but um, I thought I'd better wrap this up. I've cooked my stingray. There it is there. It smells Hard to describe. Maybe a little bit like squid. Mm, it has the texture of a scallop. It's, it's actually really soft. But if you ask me, it tastes um, more like fish. Mm. It's actually got a bit of smoke in there too from the fire. I always thought this would taste a bit more like shark, but it really is more like fish. I'm actually tasting camembert cheese, like the aftertaste, like mm, quite a quite a little while after I finished that that, that first two pieces. Oh, there's definitely camembert cheese flavour coming right, like you know, like a few minutes after I've I've eaten the other pieces. Very interesting. Definitely squid in it, maybe prawnish as well. Mm, I'm going to keep um, putting them on a little rock. That, that seems to be working quite well. And it turned out to be a nice afternoon. It was actually yeah, a little bit overcast this morning. Um, the wind settled down a little bit. And uh, I think I'll, I'll do stingray again, but I might cook the whole thing. I don't know. I'll, um, I'll see how I go. I definitely want to go for more octopus. I hate being outsmarted by uh, an animal. Even though he's got eight legs, the brains are like pretty small. They are very intelligent, um, which is why he probably got away from me today. But um, I'm going to keep going, um, trying to catch an octopus. So, yeah, it's been a, a nice day, actually. Really, really quite enjoyed today. The forecast is actually 20 to 25 knots for the next four days, and that's why I'm not heading out there. It looks it looks good in here, like if you have a look, it looks calm, but we're sheltered by the, the hill, hill behind me. So... I really want to do an overnight um, ocean ocean fish. Camp on an island or camp on the boat near an island. Um, but yeah, that'll that'll have to wait a little bit longer. So, oh, I think that next one needs turning. See you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal. Some of you have gone far beyond 
what I've ever expected. Every little bit helps. And if you want to see more right now, click the, uh, the links above. Catch you next time.